On this episode of Driving Through Jamaica, we're heading to Old Arbor and we're taking the highway. What's up beautiful people, it's yours truly, 876 by birth and welcome to another Driving Through Jamaica. Today we are heading to Old Arbor, alright? And we are going to be taking the highway. Uh, the name of the highway is the Vineyards, I think that's what they refer to it as. I hope you can hear me, I hope the sound from outside is not too loud. So currently we are in Spanish Town. So we're gonna hop on to the highway from the Spanish Town entrance and we're gonna head into the town of Old Harbor. Alright? So journey with me while this drive and as usual guys. I hope you enjoy. Well I will never hear that good because I chucked data pass, I reckon data pass. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so yeah. Kusu are going up on the road right now. Um, it's currently in, it's it's in the afternoon right now. Let me see. Um, hey Siri, what time is it? It's 4:09 p.m. All right, so it's 4:09. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's about 88 degrees outside. All right, so 88 degrees. Yeah, it was it was hotter in the day, like me know this because I could have feel it. You get me? So yeah. All right, so think we go all of Pandora. Second exit, I think. Thing to my left right there we bring it to Kingston and such and this around here should bring us to Old Arbor so yeah people we just are running at Old Arbor town and see how the town stay hey normally Old Arbor town can just it you know I mean like the whole of them little town they always can just it for be totally honest I don't know why, but every time you go in on one of them here, they like the town part always oh, congested. Honestly, yeah, always oh, congested. All right, so the next right turn should be ours. Yeah, to my right, I'm actually looking on the highway. All right, so this is ours. All right, so. We're on our way to Old Arbor. Yeah, and as I said, they call this the vineyards. Yeah. So I hope everybody is okay. Like everybody that's hearing my voice right now, or everybody that's watching this video, I mean, you could be listening to it too. You know, I hope everyone is doing okay. Yeah. I'm getting a phone call. Um, listen to some music while I answer this call, people, because I can't make you hear my conversation.
as I was saying, I hope everybody doing all right, you know. It's a beautiful day in Jamaica, guys. Very beautiful day. The weather is right. Everything is nice. Trust me. Everything is a okay. People you need to take a trip come to Jamaica. You hear me say? Yeah. If you live here, if you're born here, if you come from here, yeah, if you did live here, take a trip and come back to your home, to your home country, you know, please. And if you've never been here and you're a, you're you're a foreigner watching this video, you need to take a trip to Jamaica, okay? Yeah, people. Well, people land in our Saint Catherine same way, you know, people, because if you look over to my left and to the right, like a whole heap of land, like you know. And then see, me see them do some work down there, so I don't know what they're doing. Okay, that's a road I don't know. But two twos from this, me know you got here, so house I've been over them places too. Yeah, and them I've got an exit and all of these things, you understand? So, yeah, people. I'm just switch lane, you know? Them I change them, do them engine work or change tire or whatever. Not sure, but. I want nobody stumble out in that road for me, you understand? Yeah. But yeah, there's a whole heap of chapter over there, so. I don't know if they're just making a road. I don't know. But one time these used to be farmlands, you know, cane and all that stuff used to over there, you know. Yeah, I've not seen a cane over there recently. Because one time when they used to drive along this stretch, um he used to have like the smoke when they might burn the cane he used to have the smoke and all of that so yeah but a long time now minutes in the smoke but there's a, a whole they, i don't know they're cutting the road and they're doing all sorts of things going down that side people over to the left so if you can see like the white mark on the ground i don't um, i'm not sure how much i the camera actually i pick up but you know they like they make a little roadway and thing. Yeah. But it's a whole heap of land this people, man. I like a whole heap of land this. You understand? Yeah. Whole heap of land man. They can be like they can make an next parish right as a people. So much land in it. Mm -hmm. They can make an next parish. Yeah, so as I said, we're on our way to Old Arbor. We hop on this highway, which is called the Vineyards. We hopped on at Spanish Town. Um, we have hopped on at, at, uh, in Spanish Town. That's where we hopped on. You know that big roundabout is in Spanish Town, where the bypass is close to where the train line is, close to Ty Spence side, all of that. That's where we came on, and we went around to the direction where they have a little place called Hill Run. Yeah, that's where we went on. So, yeah, see that sign said smoke area because they used to have the cane, as I said, and they used to burn the cane. So, the whole place used to full of smoke when you're traveling on this leg. But I say, hasn't been any cane on this on, on, on these lands for a while now. I think over there, so to my left, you have Papa Tree. Yeah. And many know what else there is about. Look at farming I go on to my left people. Look at farming I go on. So I guess these lands are still not sold because somehow I feel like when we passed earlier where they tractor them there and someone said like they might make a little roadway. Yeah man, them land they sell off man. I don't ask nobody if them sell. Them sell off. You get me? So yeah, but I guess these are still owned by whoever did own them. Or still leased or whatever. Because look at farming, I go on for it as I say. Yeah. Um, you know, so some people um, who live in a Kingston consider Old Arbor as a country or as a far place. And to be honest, Old Arbor is not really far, you know. And to commute from Old Arbor, um, so from Kingston to Old Arbor, the commute is actually way easier than to commute probably from some other place maybe to Spanish Town or to Portmore 
Now hear me out before you say me a talk stupid this. I'm not saying the distance is short, I know. Right? But it's easier. Especially, alright. So, you see, I'll that bus. My God, man, traffic. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're suffering at the traffic. And then when the bus reach in a, like the community you now, like it reach a Portmore or like it reach a Spanish town, it has stop at every bus stop. You get me? While if you're there, all over. While if you're there, all over. Hold on, one chopper pass. Let me make it. Pass, that'd be nice. Yeah, welcome to the natural sounds of the street, alright? But yeah, as me I say now, while if you are coming to Old Harbour, not taking the toll, but taking the regular road, right? Your bus full up from, from town or wherever, and it drives, see? And it not really stop till it catch like, you have a place named Gutters. Not really stop till it reach a Gutters. And then when it left, it uh, probably stop like a Church Pen and Marley Mountain, you know what I say? And then on the leg of the stretch of road to going into the town of Ola, but there really isn't any traffic until they're close by to the town. You get me? So, to me, the commute is easier, but a whole heap of people burn out Ola and say a country and it's too far. You understand? Yeah, a whole heap of people burn it out. I don't know why, but to me, I think it's easier to commute this way. Honestly, I think it is. Alright, so we're approaching the toll booth. You might see the light flickering, but nothing is wrong. It's just the LED. Yeah. Bless up, bro. Yeah. Alright, so as I say, you might see the light flicker from the camera, but adjust the LED with the lens. You understand? LED light tend to flicker from the camera lens. I don't know why, but anyways. Um it's six hundred dollars yeah so i don't know how much of, how many of you guys watch my my other video when i take the um north is it north south highway yeah the one we got watch it where that system you actually punch a card when you enter when you when you enter the, the highway you go through the toll booth and you punch and you get a card and then when you reach to wherever you're gonna exit you give it to the person and they swipe the card and it tell them where you enter and it you know calculate based on the distance you've traveled it calculate how much you pay and i guess they have the price per kilometer so based on how much kilometer you travel then you pay and you know the class one class two class three based on the type of vehicle where you drive as well you understand um i think everybody's supposed to but class one would be like a regular like a sedan cars you know, you look at sport cars, class 2 now would have be like SUVs and, you know, class 3 would have be like these big um, tractor trailers as people overseas call them, or we call them truck trailer out here, would have be those, you know, so <clears throat> the price ranges per class, per kilometer, understand? So yeah, but a while ago, I have a class 1, so I paid 600 Jamaican dollars. Yeah, 600 Jamaican dollars, guys. Uh, is it expensive? Um, not re If you're traveling the full length of the highway, to be honest, because this goes... Where, where does... I think this goes to a free town. I think this goes to... I think it goes to free town. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. But I think it goes somewhere there about, right? It passes all over and it goes a little more, a, a little distance more, right? So, yeah. Um, if, 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 if you're traveling the full length from, from there, straight all the way in Kingston on the Mandela Highway, uh, I think it's worth it. I'm not going to lie, I think it's kind of worth it. Honestly. Been traveling this, using this road. I think when this road just come out, it was like 300 and something dollars. Because this road and the Portmore Highway, I think they are built by the same persons and I think they are operated by the same company, right? And I remember when the Portmore leg was done, Portmore leg was like a hundred, was it not, was it what, $90 I think from the Portmore leg or $80? Yeah, I think the Portmore leg was probably like $80 when it just done or something like so. You understand? We're approaching our exit now, guys. So yeah, and then this leg was something like maybe 
300 dollars or something i don't quite remember but yeah but welcome to old harbor guys we're now in old harbor so you see it's not that bad i mean you guys can look at the time see how long we've been driving for and see that honestly in all honesty it's not that bad you get me yeah it's not it's not that bad guys so if you're heading to like um mandeville side and such you would continue straight on this highway it doesn't carry you all the way into mandeville but carries you to a, a certain distance i think in freetown i think all right so there's a police car coming oh you stop a taxi down there all right all right so this is actually um This road takes you up into takes you up into Old Arbor Town. Takes you up into Old Arbor Town. Um, I'll put the name of the road. If 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 you look in the top left hand corner of the screen right now, you're gonna see the name of the street. I think it's South Street it's called I'm not sure I might be wrong but the correct information is in the top left hand corner of your screen all right and Old Arbor High School is actually on this road as well all right yes yeah, so Old Arbor High School are passing now on my right and I'm telling you, it's it would be a surprise if Old Arbor Town is not congested, guys. Trust me. And there's a fire station here. It's a new fire station. Okay. Because the fire station was further down. But yeah, guys, it would be a surprise if the town is not congested. Like, trust me. These town centers can be so congested, people. Like, oh my gosh, it's not funny not funny sometimes it's it's annoying the traffic in these town centers like I'm I don't know probably wasn't meant to, to, to accommodate so much traffic you know and you have the old harbor station on my right so you could basically say that we're in the town of old harbor guys we're in the town of old harbor um, it's not necessarily not necessarily a, a, a big town like a huge town but they have a Scotia Bank and they have a um they have a um MCB I'm not even sure of the state of these banks you know but I think they had some closing down of these banks because of the whole whatever that happened so yeah so most of these banks are like what they call them digital digital banks or so but I don't know because I don't really use the banks I don't gonna go right gonna go right and as I said we are in the town of Old Arbor and it's not that congested you know guys to be to be honest with you people you know it's not that congested honestly usually this place is a traffic traffic here traffic there 
And yes, they have the good old fast food restaurant over here on my left, KFC, Kingston Fowl Cub. <laughs> yeah. And they have the taxi stand over here on my right. I know the bus park used to be a little ways down there, but it seems as if they probably move it. I'm not sure. But yeah. Alright, pop slow across. Uh, pop slow, but across. Trust me, the bus park used to be here on my left, but it's no longer there. Alright, so if you can look at the traffic coming in now, you see that, you know, yeah, it, it's kind of a, a little steady, but yeah, this is what I was talking about. But this is cool, because this is moving, guys. This is moving. I'm telling you, this is moving. Yeah, this is moving. All right, people. So this is a little shortcut that you take when you want to get down back on that road there that take it to Olaba Bay as I said I think the name is South Street I might be wrong oh my gosh but yeah it is a little shortcut that they take to cut out all of that little traffic that you just see flowing a while ago yeah this is what it would take And we're back on South Street. Oh my gosh, I really hope the name is South Street because my name is so stupid. I say one name and the correct name. They're on the screen, but if my wrong, only see with me. Alright? Nobody hold against me. Alright? I mean, I know a whole heap of places, but I know all of them names I remember like that. And I know every road I remember like that to tell you the truth. They get me so they don't crucify me. You heard? Alright, so yeah, the fire station was down here. Pass it already, but it was in this vicinity. Shall I come out? Hey guys, if you've made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you for watching. And I really appreciate you, okay? By the way, by the way, before you go, leave a comment in the comment section. If it's even to say hi or hello, no need to be shy, alright? Talk to me in the comment section, guys. I will respond to you, alright? And until our next video, stay safe.